This year for the 40 hour famine, I am doing 40 hours in a sleeping bag. I will go into a sleeping bag cocoon and emerge 40 hours later, a butterfly. A sweaty, sweaty butterfly. After a fairly rough sleep, I emerge ready to take on the day. Of course, I start with my daily exercises. Okay, that's not really true. It's more likely that I'd sit on the couch for a while. Okay, that's not really true either. Probably play a little bit of Mario Kart. Obviously, I can't drive to work. My beautiful wife has kindly volunteered to drive me where I need to go. What do you think of this whole uh, sleeping bag business? It's going okay so far. Um, might be running a little bit late at the moment because someone was shuffling down the stairs, but should be alright. Look, every day I'm shuffling, that's all I say. Look, to be honest, I think I was quite enjoying being chauffeured around. I soon realised I had forgotten to pack lunch. Bad day to do so, because it meant I'd have to go down to the shops. Yeah. Dave was kind enough to give me a lift. However, I don't know. I think his pet talks need a little bit Did of work. Did you know that some people, there's been stories of some people who've slept in sleeping bags, and then they wake up in the morning, and there's a snake curled around their foot uh, because it's not a nice warm... Nice warm spot. Now, does the snake get into the sleeping bag when the person's not in it and then they put their feet in, or does the snake crawl in while they're in it? No, while they're in it. So, while you're. Yeah. Okay. Well, have you checked? I haven't checked. There was something stuck down there. It was like a rock or something. You know how you get a rock in your shoe and it's really annoying? Yeah. A rock in your sleeping bag is much worse. It's time to get a sandwich. Do you think anyone noticed I was wearing a sleeping bag? One challenge of being in the sleeping bag was going up and down stairs. This was even more difficult while carrying a cup of coffee. There were some things I don't think the sleeping bag really affected at all. Like the radio show. In the sleeping bag, I'm not quite as majestic as I usually would be. This is what it would look like if you tried to make a mermaid walk on land. As I lay asleep around hour 30, 35, I started to question my identity. Where does the sleeping bag end and my legs start? Am I human or am I sleeping bag? I needed to do some activities to take my mind off it. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do in a sleeping bag. Finally, we hit the 40 hour mark, and like a beautiful butterfly bursting from the cocoon, I emerged from the sleeping bag. As I look back at my time, the memories I had, the moments that were made, I wondered, would I miss being in my sleeping bag? No, no, definitely not.